That's right, folks. We are heading to New York City for the Go Fest, August 18th to the 20th. Hope to see you guys there. Oh, though we're not going to Osaka and London, however, we're still going to talk about details since we had a huge announcement. So we're going to break it down. Subscribe to this channel for more great content and let me know in the comments below. Although I'm not going, are you going to either Osaka and London? Pretty much these two are not only on the same weekend, but pretty much everything that's spawning is all pretty much the same. So whether you're going to Osaka or London, you're still gonna get the same stuff. Let's go over the list of the spawns and other things that are happening in both Osaka and London from August 4th to the 6th. Just like we said in the last episode when we were talking about the Global Go Fest, Diancy will be debuting during Go Fest and it will first be appearing in Osaka and London. And of course, this mythical Pokemon is by Special Research. If you are gonna play in London, it's gonna be around Greater London and Brockwell Park. If you are playing in Osaka, Japan, it's gonna be around the Expo 70s Commemorative Park and Suria and Osaka City areas. Eric Dactyl wearing a satchel is packed ready to go and can't wait for an all adventures that lie in stores in Pokemon Go Fest 2023. <sighs> Another costume Pokemon, but whatever. Also, Sigilith, the Avianoid Pokemon, will appear during Go Fest 2023 in Osaka and London. This Pokemon is typically only found around Greece and Egypt, so if you see a Sigilith during Go Fest, you better want to catch as many as you possibly can. So when you go back home, you could definitely make some special trades for those who need that Sigilith for the Pokédex. If you guys are either in Osaka or London, there are two, actually three new Shinies that are actually gonna be debuting during that event. It is going to be Shiny Dupiter, Shiny Patillel, and Shiny Unknown Question Mark. This is super crazy. We haven't seen the exclamation point or the question mark ever since 2018. So having the exclamation point is gonna be incredible and it can be Shiny, so that's gonna be really awesome. The physical event features will include photo opportunities, so you could definitely take pictures of the in-person photo ops. There's a training area where you can meet up with trainers from all over the world to enjoy exchanging Pokemon. You also have team lounges where you can be able to socialize with other trainers or just escape the summer heat to just take a break. And then we do also have limited GoFest t-shirts that are, you know, only sold in person. Now we have the habitats for GoFest. And honestly, I am so jealous that I'm not going to Osaka or London because the ones that are there are really good. So Dark Jungle will feature Heracross, Seviper, Pumpkaboo, Jupiter, and more. And of course, Jupiter can be shiny. And although Pumpkaboo was a shiny during Halloween, it was the costume Pumpkaboo. So there's no confirmation if this Pumpkaboo can be shiny. If it is, that would be really fantastic because it would be nice to get a shiny without a costume. Next up, we have the Fairy Garden. This will feature Cacnea, Patillil, Spritzy, the Dene, and more. And once again, Patillil can finally be shiny. Next, we have the Hypnotic Glacier. We have Galarian Mr. Mime, Snorlax, Snowy Form of Cast Form, LGM, and more. And finally, this is a crazy one, Volcanic Island. This will feature Aerodactyl with the satchel that we talked about earlier. It'll also feature Surskit, Lucario, and Durant. Now, Lucario is a crazy one. You can see on the screen that it has a shiny symbol. Normally, you get a shiny Lucario by hatching an egg to get a shiny Riolu and then evolve it into shiny Lucario. But if you're going to either Osaka or London, go to the volcanic island, encounter as many Lucario as possible, you tap on one and it's shiny, you guys are in luck. That That's a crazy spawn right there, man. And then of course in all habitats, Sigilith is going to be spawning. You also have Pikachu with the Amethyst, Amethyst crown. And then you also have unknowns A-D-I-M-N-O and exclamation point. Note to self that the exclamation point unknown is only exclusive in the in-person Go Fest in all three locations and that the unknown M is making its debut as a shiny and that you can be able to get it in the three locations and or global go fest. All the unknown can be shiny. The only difference is you're not gonna get the exclamation point for the global go fest. Also, you can get some carping field research when you go to go fest for Osaka and London to get as many encounters as possible because I think this is the only time that you can get a carving. You also have an elite collector medal that can help you complete some collection challenges based on the four habitats. And then the special research by Diancy, like we mentioned earlier, that's gonna debut during London and Osaka first since that's the first Go Fest of the Go Fest season. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna be in Osaka nor London, but I hope you guys have a fun time if you are going to those locations. And again, we are gonna talk about details in a separate episode 
about the New York City Go Fest. I'm excited about this one because I haven't been in New York in a long time. Anyway, that's all the time that we have for today's episode. We'll see you next time. Peace out.